This is a very, very serious topic that I'm quite distressed about. And it's the number of Americans that will no longer consider buying life insurance. And Krista, what really triggered me to want to talk about this is a post that you told me about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I have it here. Brian in Alaska wrote in and he said, I want to thank Clark and the team for your help. I used to listen to your show years ago on our local radio station. After hearing repeated exhortations to purchase life and term life insurance, my wife and I followed through using the list of highly rated companies that we found on your website. Unfortunately, my wife passed away very unexpectedly this past winter. I'm sorry. So sorry. While we didn't have all of our affairs in order, thankfully, we did have life insurance policies in place. While nothing can replace what we have lost, as we move forward, the reality is that I will have the resources on hand to support our children and raise them in the way that we always have. I cannot thank you enough. I truly don't think that I would have followed through with purchasing life insurance had I not heard the same message over and over. And I am also thankful that I chose to work with a reputable company that processed our claim quickly and fairly. Your help matter, matters in a very tangible way, and I wanted you to know that it's making, a, it's making a really, a very real difference in the lives of my children. I hope that the pain in your kids' hearts and your own heart heal over time. Um, I'm really, really sorry about the loss of your wife. It's, it's a very difficult transition in your life. And I'm glad that hearing me um, talk over and over again about buying life insurance did have that benefit for you and your kids. Um, I, I want you to know that most people will not buy life insurance. It is a product that is sold. What does that mean? Death is an uncomfortable topic for most people. Um, for some reason, for me, it's not. I, I talk about it like I'm talking about, um, yeah, I, I found this deal at Costco today. By the way, you can buy discount cost, caskets at Costco, but that's a topic for another time. I mean, it's inevitable for all of us. And so we hide from it because of fear and pain. But you cause more pain if you don't face the reality, it's not a possibility, the reality that someday you're going to pass away. And why am I talking about this like this? Because the life insurance industry is going through an absolute crisis. The average age of a life insurance salesperson is older than Methuselah. Nobody young will go into selling life insurance. And so it's led to a complete dynamic change. The insurance agents that remain only make money if they sell you garbage insurance like universal life, variable universal life, and an insurance product that's high commission that sometimes will be appropriate, but usually not, called whole life insurance. So we have this situation where you've got this aging sales force. We have a product that they only have worth their time to sell, which is insurance products that are incredibly complicated, usually not good to own, have massive premiums, and if you buy one, you're not going to end up with enough coverage because of those huge premiums to have enough coverage to help your family. What that leaves us with is a problem. It means that you have to buy it, not wait for somebody to sell it to you. And so people will hear somebody like me talk about this, and they'll go get started maybe filling out an application for the only kind of insurance most people should have, which is something known as level term insurance. It is a simple death policy. It only pays if you die. The good news is if you pay for it year after year, 
and you outlive the policy. Yeah, you paid for a policy that you never got benefit from. Great. But if you did need it, it's there and it pays. And the benefit it pays is quite large for the amount of premiums you pay. So that's what you should buy. But what happens is people will say, okay, I guess I should do it. And they go look and they start to fill out an application. And overwhelmingly, the applications are abandoned. So that's why I put a big emphasis in my write-up on level term insurance on Clark.com about you buying the way that particularly anybody under 40 wants to buy. Like, you don't want to be told it's going to take four or five months for this policy to go into effect, and you're going to have to have a medical screening, you're going to have to go to a doctor's office or have somebody come to you and run tests and blah, 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 blah. And so people don't buy it. So now there are lots of insurers that look at your medical history and just based on that, they decide typically the algorithm they use will approve you or decline you or say, oh, well, you got to do it the old-fashioned way. And they'll do it all in under two minutes. The application will take you probably 15, 20 minutes because they want to know everything about you, including how many pair of white socks you have in your sock drawer. I don't know why, but I mean, not really, but the questions go on and on. And that's why people abandon it. But if you can do it and you get approved for one of those policies, bam, you're good all in one sitting and you protected those you love. Now, what a lot of people do is they say, this is too hard. I'm going to get the horrible, terrible, rotten life insurance they offer me through work. Don't do it. If they give you some life insurance through work and you can have it for free, take what they give you for free. But gut this one out and do the application for level term life insurance so you won't leave behind there's enough suffering when you're gone emotionally for those who love you. Don't leave them left high and dry financially by not having that insurance. Please get it done. And don't be conned by any insurance salesperson to buy garbage life insurance like variable universal life, universal life, or anything they say, I have a tax advantaged investment for you. It is a wonderful new form of life insurance that's going to allow you to have enormous income tax-free. Oh, don't fall for that pitch. Because what they're next going to do is con you into buying a variable or variable universal life insurance piece of junk. Okay, Elaine in Florida says, after hearing the report from another listener regarding missing uh, or items charged to a grocery order that they didn't order, I thought I would share a recent experience. A fraudulent order was placed through my Walmart app, and the items were delivered to my daughter's home 40 miles away. She does not have access to my account, however, and I sometimes buy order things that are shipped to her. The order was just around $300 plus expedited delivery fee and a hefty tip for the driver. I was able to intercept the items from my daughter's home, she was out of town, and return them all to the store for a refund. The credit card was stored in my account, which I no longer do. Still no idea how the account was accessed or by whom. I tried to report to the police and they said there was nothing they could do since a crime was not committed. To oh. them, it was me who made the order. I that was that was a police department that's a little busy and they didn't want to get involved in yeah. a financial crime. I reported it to the FTC, but have not heard back from them. Walmart customer service refunded the charges, the delivery fee and tip, and gave me a $10 voucher for my eight hours of work. All right, so first of all, Elaine, your suggestion is one that has come up repeatedly and that is don't store a form of payment with apps you have on your phone. It's so easy to do that, that it's such a common practice to store a form of payment. The criminal only would have been successful with this crime because a form of payment was stored. You were fortunate you were able to intercept this. The thing that's really odd here, your daughter would have been one of the people 
listed on your account for when you send stuff to her and whatever else. It's very, very weird that somebody knew your daughter was out of town and did a delivery to her address. But the great news is you stopped everything. And the most important thing that you said, I want to emphasize again, if you have forms of payment stored in apps for merchants, remove the stored form of payment, even though it means you got to type it in every time. It's a better idea to do that because this crime only works if there's a stored form of payment. John in Wisconsin says, you often talk about how many newspapers you read, but I don't recall you ever mentioning how you keep these subscription costs in check. For example, I have a Wall Street Journal subscription and I continue to get hit with the loyalty penalty over time as the subscription continues to increase. Right now, is it, a, it is at $40.94 per month. Do you 500 bucks a year, basically. Do you sometimes cancel these subscriptions and wait for a low teaser rate again to rejoin, use another tactic to save, or do you just stomach the ongoing increases? So I do just what you asked. I let my subscriptions expire and the calls and emails get steadily more desperate and they will offer you at many publications a welcome back deal. And so you just have to play hard to get. I mean, they've taken the page of the playbook of the cable monsters that keep pushing prices up and up and up on your internet connection, or if you still crazily get television from a cable company. And what they do is they punish loyalty, reward disloyalty. If you call to disconnect and you end up with a retention specialist, they offer all kinds of deals to keep you with a... Uh, print publication, well, I guess we still call them print publications, with a traditional newspaper or magazine kind of thing that likely you're getting digitally, they do the same thing. The only deals go to people who say, I quit, and never to people who say, I stay. Now, I'd be really remiss, John, if I didn't mention, because every time I don't mention this, we hear from someone is now many library systems offer um, access to apps that get you newspapers and magazines for free just for being a member of that public library system. So that is an alternative as well that you could look at is the free digital lending of newspapers and magazines, particularly more magazines than newspapers, that may be available to you. And I hope that I have saved you some money today, given you information you can use in your life, or share with someone you know, and please take to heart what you heard and what I said about life insurance. And remember, we are here to serve you around the clock at Clark.com, where you can find our guide to buying level term life insurance. And our Team Clark Consumer Action Center is here to serve you five days a week, Monday through Friday, answering your questions, talking to you about a problem you have, giving you advice, 30 hours each week, Monday through Friday, 10 in the morning Eastern to 4 in the afternoon Eastern time. 636-49-CLARK is the number. You want to know more about what we do at the Team Clark Consumer Action Center, go to clark.com slash CAC and have a great day.